Hi everybody, my name is JT and this is my review media. Today I'm going to do a quick review on the Starcraft Calabria 3-in-1 Convertible Crib. So the convertible crib is actually for an infant to toddler to a full-size bed. And it also comes with a dresser and a changing station. So the reason I bought this was the reviews were really good, the price point was great, and my wife liked the white color and everything just looked good. So now that I've actually set it up and put it in a room, I can tell you right now that it's a pretty big crib. With a changing station on the side, it, it, it takes up a, a big part of the room. But I'm happy so far. I like the color, I like how it looks. But I will tell you that the wood is a little soft. And if you're not careful when you're putting this together, you're gonna dent up your wood. But I will be doing a follow-up video shortly after she's born and we put her in the crib. I'll let you know how everything goes. So if you stay tuned for the second part of the video, it's basically just me setting up the crib and giving little tips and tricks here and there. If you have any questions and you need any advice later on, just comment down below in this video. Thanks for watching my review. Peace. So this is your instruction manual. You're gonna open up the envelope and it should give you a clear direction, I'm hoping. So this is the crib I'm building today. It's from Starcraft and it's the Calabria model. So you're gonna open up this box that they give you. You're gonna get a couple more pieces in here. Make sure you keep all these and don't lose any of them. You have two of these support sticks right here, guys, which have holes. You're gonna line up these holes underneath the board. So to make sure that you got the right ones, they pretty much measure up to the reel in the picture, as you can see. You're gonna need a flathead screwdriver for this. Make sure that line is flush and you should be good to go. It's very thin guys. So make sure when you do put stuff in this drawer that you don't put too much weight. It's very thin. It's a cardboard. Okay guys, so we're gonna get all these Short beams support. We're gonna put these black stoppers on all of them. So we're gonna start with this piece right here. You're gonna put these two wooden pegs in here, and you're gonna make sure you got the side that that's rounded off that goes with this corner. We're gonna get our KK screw, and we're gonna tighten it up. Don't forget to put these on at the end of this too, like we did on the other side. So you just wanna slide two of them in like that. We're gonna grab this board and try to line it up as good as we can. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put these shelves in. They have these little pieces right here. They're gonna fit in all these little holes. I guess they just want you to, to push them in. And uh, I'm gonna keep the top exposed. They got these pl white plastic pieces that you're gonna need a Phillips head, and this is what's gonna hold the board together. Okay, so now we're gonna work on this side panel. Just know you're gonna have two extra pieces like this, 
and this is gonna be for when you actually change this from a toddler bed into a I guess a full-size bed you're gonna disconnect your frame from the actual the, the dresser on the side it's gonna become a full-size bed so keep those two pieces but right now make sure you put your two there's gonna be a wood peg there and one right here you're gonna need this piece right here and you're gonna slide it in this hole right here and you're gonna slide one in this hole up here Okay guys, so I'm gonna kind of show you how I did it. I got the wood peg. Uh, make sure you make sure you put that in. Bottom one doesn't need one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my screwdriver to hold it up into this hole right here. All right, so once you got it in there like that, just screw it in with your finger and you can feel it when it catches. Once it's catched, you're good. Okay, so I just put the, the baseboard of the bend. Um, you're gonna have different options. You're gonna have one that's about halfway up, and then you're gonna have one that's down low. Um, my baby's gonna be an infant, so I put it on the higher level. When they get older, you're gonna have to drop it down. You're gonna have to take all this apart, drop it down to the lowest level to make it a toddler bed. So this is the final product without the mattress. Ours did not come with a mattress. Um, there's gonna be, th this wood is kind of soft. I don't know what that was, but the wood is kind of soft. You're gonna get little nicks here and there. When I got it out the box, it was, I seen a couple pieces of wood with the uh, dents in it. But yeah, you guys are gonna have to purchase a mattress for this. It does come with the mattress for the changer, which is good. Um, so far so good, it feels, feels pretty sturdy. It feels all right. I like it. It was uh, $300.